Hey everyone, Paul here from TabletopGamer.com and in this video I'm just going to give you guys a quick demo of the uh, um, Army List Maker software that I'm building um, so far. And this is the version 0 0.08 beta. So um, by the time you're watching this video it might be a newer version but uh, uh, this is as of September 7th. This is what the software looks like. So. Basically, the uh, you can find the software at armylistmaker.com, and first thing you'll see when you get there is um, a login screen. So if you have an account, you can basically just uh, log in. If you don't have an account, there's a register link here um, where you can basically create an account. It only takes a few seconds. Um, it's free of charge, so um, it's pretty easy to do. But I've already got an account set up here, so I'm just going to click login. Now, once you log in. Uh, basically you have access to these two buttons up here so the first one I'm gonna demo is uh, real quick here is the armies button um, so essentially what you want to do is the first thing you want to do is you want to add an army uh, to your list so um, you can start building out an army and I've got um, I just finished adding in all the war machine armies and uh, hordes and I've also added the first um, uh, portion of the Dark Age um, Dragiri uh, army so um, I will be supporting uh, Dark Age as part of the software as well so um, basically you just pick an army like for example I'm gonna click on War Machine uh, Kador and you click add army and that adds it to your list down here and uh, once you have the army listed in down here you basically click on build list once you click on build list, it uh, loads the page and it shows you all of the um, available models in this listing here. So here's all the uh, Warcasters, um, here's the uh, Heavy Warjacks, uh, Battle Engine, uh, here's all the units, and then the Solo and the Attachments. So it gives you a listing of all the uh, available units you can build your army uh, with. So I'm just going to... Um, as an example, I'm going to just select the um, starter box that I got. So Commander Sorcerer is part of that box. So I basically click the little plus button here. And if you'll notice what the software does is it automatically detects that if you're adding uh, Commander Sorcerer, um, you uh, can't add a second Commander Sorcerer. So there's the there's Commander Sorcerer and there's also uh, Forward Commander Sorcerer. So but these are basically the same character, just two, ver two versions of the same character. So the software detects that you've added um, her to your list and therefore you can't add the other version to the same army. So uh, some of the uh, Warcasters, some of the units um, down here, they're linked in that way. So basically it calculates the field allowance for that character. Uh, so I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna add in, let's say the uh, Destroyer and we'll throw in let's say a juggernaut and it basically adds it to your list here of course up top here you can see that it calculates uh, the point value of your army so far and um, I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna add a couple of the uh, Man of War Shark Troopers so there's units here now what it also does like for example for the units um, I've added the field allowance on this is three and if you look down here for the shock troopers there's two different types you can add in um, a shock trooper uh, army with uh, a leader plus two grants or you can add leader plus four grants but the total field allowance for either of those is three so I've already added one of these here so I'm going to add two more of these and you'll see what happens so when I click that it adds one more and then I click it again now you'll see what it does is it basically um, eliminates both of these from the list because if we look up here we've added um, you know one unit with a leader and two grants another one with a leader and two grants and then finally a third uh, unit with a leader and four grants so um, the software does take that into account and then you've got your solo characters and your attachments and things like that so that's basically the army builder part of it and you can add in you know all the different armies and you can you know click build list and it shows all the different units 
And um, another thing that I've added now is uh, the collection builder. So the collection builder is basically allows you to um, add in all the different units that you own, all the models that you own. So once again, I'm going to just for demo purposes, I'm going to use uh, War Machine Kador. As soon as I select the army, it shows you a listing of all the different um, you know models that you can add. And I'm going to once again select uh, Commander Sorsha. I'm going to add her to the list. Now, in the um, collection builder, unlike the army builder, there is no field allowances for this because here you're just basically, um, you know, telling the software what models you have in your collection. So there's no there's no limit to that. You can, um, you know, for as an example, I have two so commander Sorshas that uh, one came with the starter box I got, and the second one came with the two player. Uh, battle set. So I've got two of them. I'm going to add a second one to my list as well. So in the collection builder, one of the differences between here and the armies is you can actually add in uh, duplicates of models if that's what you own. Um, and once again, I'm going to go in here. I'll add in, um, you know, a couple of destroyers. I'll add in um, a couple of juggernauts. And I'll add in, let's say, the uh, shock troopers. So this pretty much represents my Cato army as of right now. Uh, I've got two of these, two of these, two of these, and um, one unit of uh, the shock troopers. Now, what you can basically do once you've added the um, units to your collection, uh, you can click this little button here, um, and I'll probably be changing this icon because it shouldn't really be a plus sign, but anyways, it's for now it's just a, um, a plus sign, but essentially what I would do is for Commander Sorsha, I can click this little Ed button here. And what that does is it loads the model in here and I can put in some more details in here. So as an example, um, for ownership status, um, you can select, yes, I own this uh, model, no, I don't. Or you can also select want if you um, if you want to add a unit to your, um, kind of like a wish list, I guess you could say. So there'll be more functionality I'll build out with this later on. But for now, I'm just going to leave this as yes. And for the first Commander Sorsha, I'll say that uh, the build status is 100% done and the paint status is 90% done. And when I click the update button, basically what it does is it just updates these uh, graphical um, progress bars. Uh, the second Sorsha, I haven't, um, for her, I have build status and paint status at zero. The destroyer, the first one, I'll go in here and I'll put it at 100 and painting is 90% done once again. Same thing with the Juggernaut. This guy is 100% uh, built. Actually, he's not because I want to magnetize him, so I'm going to set him to 90, and painting is 90. And then um, the Man of War Shock Troopers, I can go in here and I can set they're about 75% um, built and 0% painted. So you can basically use this for uh, to track, you know, what are which uh, models you have in your armies and what your um, what the status is of them as far as painting and, and building them and stuff like that. So I will be adding more functionalities to this in the future, but I just wanted to show you guys a quick demo of uh, what I've gotten here so far. And of course, you can select, you know, uh, models from all the different armies if I wanted to, um, you know, if I wanted to, let's say, add some. Uh, units from the uh, uh, troll bloods. I basically just add it in here and it adds it to the list. So you can basically build out this large list of whatever models uh, you own. So, and you know, it calculates the points for you here, which is it's not really that uh, um, valuable because you're not really building on an army list per se, but it does give you a total of all the points uh, of your models. So, um, you know. I'm not sure how useful that is, but it, it does have it there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys a quick uh, demo of uh, what I've got uh, done so far. So once again, the software is at uh, armylistmaker.com. You guys can go there, check it out, register. It only takes two seconds, and then you can start building your armies um, in there. And um, one last thing I'll say is if you um, if you go in and if you you know play around, if you find any um, if you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see in the software, um, right on the home screen, there is a link um, right here that basically takes you to the um, online forum that I've set up for the software. Um, and there's a 
uh, a thread I started called Army List Maker Featured Requests and Cool Ideas, where you can basically go in there and you can add in any feature requests that you'd like to see in the software. Okay, so that's pretty much it for, uh, for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.